today I will talk about classification of cerebrovascular accidents, embolism of the cerebral vessels, and etiology, pathogenesis, clinical picture, and treatment of this disease. Uh, we commonly know uh, embolism when we think about cardiovascular diseases, but it can also happen in other organs. And one of the major organs is the brain or cerebral embolism. While there is a difference between thrombosis and embolism, thrombosis refers to the local formation of a clot in the lumen of a blood vessel. And embolism refers to passage of material from a more proximal source to a more distal location. In the case of the cerebral arteries, embolism may arise from the heart, as it usually does. The aortic arc, the cervical vessels like carotid and vertebral arteries, or from venous circulations if there is a pattern for a menoveal. The etiology and pathogenesis. Atherosclerosis is the main cause of thrombotic disease of the cervical and cerebral blood vessels. Risk factors include hypertension, diabetes, hyperlipidemia, and smoking. <clears throat> Embolism from the carotid arteries or vertebral arteries to a more distal cerebral vessel is referred to as an artery to artery embolism, as opposed to paroxysmal embolism or paradoxical embolism, which refers to the crossing of an emboli from veins to arteries or vice versa. Stroke can also be caused by embolism of thrombotic material from the heart to cerebral blood vessels. If a patient has a pattern for an oval, which is a flap in the heart's wall, which can cause uh, a blood to uh, saturate in there, it stays in there for a long time, long enough to clot. That is called a pattern for an oval. Embolism from the venous circulation can cause a stroke or paradoxical embolism. Rare causes of cerebral embolism, not due to thromboembolism, include air, fat, and amniotic fluid embolism. This is an example of subarachnoid fat deposition and fat embolism. It is a syndrome which is rare but still persists. As you can see in the MRI, there are black spots which represent cerebral clots or fat embolies. Here too, you can see the white spots in the left side. Cerebral embolisms cause about 15 to 20 percent of all strokes and about one quarter of all ischemic strokes. It occurs most frequently in patients who have known heart disease, including atrial fibrillation and other arrhythmias, valve disease, mural thrombus, a blood clot sitting in the left ventricle of the heart or other conditions. So it is commonly associated with heart diseases, but it also is associated with blood diseases such as hyperlipidemia or any um, problem in the clotting mechanism in blood. It causes symptoms similar to those of thrombotic strokes, but the presentations of embolic strokes tend to be more abrupt and dramatic. While thrombolic strokes develop over time, thromb uh, embolic strokes occur abruptly and instantly. These are the mechanisms by which we can differentiate between them. These can suddenly, these can include sudden onset of hemiplegia, sensory loss, facial weakness, cognitive deficits, or speech disturbances, depending on the location of the emboli. For example, in the center, in the somatosensory cortex, if the anterior cerebral artery is blocked, which, that means we lose the sensation in our legs, and otherwise. The treatment includes two major strategies, <clears throat> acute thrombolytic therapy to lyse the embolus and prevention of recurrence of embolic events using long-term prophylactic therapy and removal of the embolic source. Usually it is fat, but it can be other materials in this case. Treatment depends in large part in the composition. Embolism may compose of fibrin and platelets and response to antifibrinolytic therapy anti-fibrinolytic uh, agents such as um, streptokinase or urokinase. Patients with atrial fibrillation should be considered for long-term anticoagulation therapy with warfarin, unless there is a direct contraindication to its use. In patients with septic emboli, treating of the underlying infection is the mainstay of treatment. 
and patients with paradoxical emboli from deep vein thrombosis should be given targeted therapy to prevent reembolization. And if a ventricular septal defect or patent foramen oval is identified, repair of the defect should be considered. This is in summary, the whole topic of cerebral embolism. It includes treatment, symptoms, risk factors, definitions, pathophysiology, management, and causes. Thank you for your attention.